Hello and welcome to Fluffy Scrolls video. Fucking hell, it's been a while since I said that. <laughs> um, it's time that I tell you what has been going on with, with me and why I've not been uh, uploading as much as you think I would be. I f it's been it, it's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a while. And um, I'll take you back a, a while. <laughs> started in January. Started in January. Where I started smoking. So I was smoking uh, easy because I was going through a lot and. Um, And I couldn't handle it. I had to uh, smoke weekdays, go to parties, I had to take alcohol. The alcohol wasn't the problem. It was easy as that. And, um, I felt not myself anymore. I felt like I had to do it to be myself. And, um, I had to, to do it. I felt I had to do it. I, I, I don't know why, but I felt I had to do it. And then February came. Uh, and then I started, no, not February, no. I started to do it until July. No, until, until June. And then, end of June, I've. I noticed that I felt something in the back of my throat. I felt something back of my throat. That's when I stopped. And I, I, I think back, I thought back and I'm like, that might be the big C. So I went to the hospital and they just said it was nothing. It was just tonsillitis or, when I said, when I got it tested, they said it was tonsillitis. And then when I got tested again, it was, when I got tested, that, and then I went to the hospital again in, um, About three weeks later, and then they said I've got an infection, I got a throat infection. And then that went, the throat infection, and I thought right, that went. And then until in July, until July this month. No, I was, I was in the middle of June. Sorry, I was in the middle of June. That was in the middle of June. And then the end of June, um, the end of June. I felt a lump it on my neck. Uh, I went to the doctors when I was I, at that time. I was looking after Richard's my my mate dog. Uh, if you don't know Richard's, if you look at the the massacre video, that's my mate Richard. I was looking after my mate's dog, and then I felt a little lump on the side of my neck around here. It's still there, it's still there. Don't get it wrong. Yeah, but it wasn't a big lump. It was just a small ass lump, small ass lump. And then I went to the doctors. I went to the hospital right near mine, which is only down there. Um, went to the hospital, and they just said, "Oh, it's just one gone, but it's right, it's right near the back of my neck. Uh, it's just a swollen gun. Bleeding for a bit. Bleeding for a bit. And then I went to, I think in. July, about the start of July, I went to my GP to get tested. To try to get tested for the, the, the big C. Because I thought it was. And then what happened there, at least when. No, I think it was not the start of July. It was, uh, I think it was a few days. I think it was in the middle of July. I think like, in the, it was two weeks ago. Today, yeah, it was two weeks ago. Today, it was two weeks ago. I think it was two, yeah, it was two weeks ago. And they said it was a swollen glands as well. And in the past two weeks, I've just been feeling it. I've been touching it. I've been looking at it, and it does move. It moves. It moves. And I was, I was thinking, the past few days, the matter got something wrong, and it got something wrong. And then before I went to the doctors, I realised. I realised I might have health anxiety. And then when I went to the doctors about two weeks ago, 
uh, with numbers. I I'm talking about before doctors. I had my my other day. I went to I went to the doctors and said I might I have I have got health anxiety, and um, for the past and 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 like past two weeks I've been feeling it, touching it, and I'm like, oh, this could be, it. and and. Uh, I went to the doctor today and she, my doctor got fed up and literally went took my, my temperature, took my my pulse, my heart, my uh, my oxygen levels felt my neck, felt like here, felt all around here and she said it's just one gone, why are you here? It's because and uh, yeah and now I feel fine because what happened? And the only reason why I felt fine is because I tell you what happened throughout the the week, throughout all the week, throughout all the month. I'll tell you what happened. I felt like I was gonna die. To be honest, I felt like I was gonna gonna die of the big C. I felt like I was done for. I felt I was I was going outside. Like I went to a party. If you don't know, do check my Instagram at Fussy's Fella. I went to a party. My friend, my best friend's party. Um, I only call my best friend. She's like my, my my little sister, best friend party, and um, I was having panic attacks. I was having, I was having, like not not major. Like I was not having severe. I was, I was having panic. I was, I was really really having panic attacks. I was stepping outside. I was like, oh, I'm gonna die. I was sitting on the floor. I was like, I'm gonna die. I, I felt like I was gonna die. I feel like I have to drink, I drink alcohol to be myself. I have to, I have to act like, like I, I was myself. I have to act like it. And then a few days when I had to, before and even before the party, I was I was like that. I had to tell my mate. I was I literally I was crying. I was literally crying on my mate's sofa. Because I thought I was gonna die. Like, I don't want to say goodbye. I, I, I'm not ready. I, I'm only 18. And I'm kind of getting a bit emotional because that's what happened. And I, I, obviously, I can't help anxiety, which still fucks me over now and again. But yeah, I was, I was crying. I was, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't hack it. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like, like if I have it, then I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. I really couldn't. And it's, I really, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. That's why I went to my doctors and checked my back of my throat. They checked if I had a lump back of my throat, which I don't. Which I, I had a sore throat. I was coughing now and again. I was, I was coughing, but sometimes dry, sometimes not, because I was, I was, I was still smoking e I was, I was still smoking e at the party, but I'm not smoking e like, like now. I'm not, I'm not smoking e like. All, all of a sudden, I'm not like, like, all the time. I'm, I'm always doing it at special occasions when I'm like drunk out of my head. Anyways, <laughs> this video fucked up then. But anyways, I, I felt like I couldn't hack it. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I really, really couldn't. Um, no, I still got that feeling now, but because of, just because of my health anxiety, it's just it's, it's going over the place. And um, and, and yeah, I felt like you. I feel like it's time to actually tell you guys. I feel like it's actually time to. end this all right? like, it, it is because I don't I feel like I have to I feel like I have to tell you because I don't know what I'll do if if I did if I actually did die I actually like I had to stop completely stop doing videos whatsoever but the doctor said I'm fine I said my muscles are fine my I don't have the big C I don't have anything else 
so yeah, I'm fine, I'm healthy, I'm alright, and that, uh, uh, because I was scared, because I was, I was off my head now, I thought I would have to get pissed with myself, what I'm doing is donating a hundred quid to uh, cancer research, I'm donating a hundred quid to Maximilian, uh, so I'm getting 200 quid to two charities to do that because I know I, I felt I felt like if I do then so if I had to leave everyone that actually loved me I had to do, I had to do, I, I had to like I don't know I don't know what I'll do, I mean, I had to leave my girlfriend, I had to, I had to do, I felt like I had to avoid my, I had to avoid my girlfriend, because, I didn't, I didn't want to see, I didn't want to see me like this, I didn't, I didn't want anyone to see me like this. I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very sorry that. I wasn't recording. I'm back now though. <laughs> I'm back. I'm, 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 thank you. I'm thankful for everyone that stayed with me. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for everyone that. Just, I'm thankful for everyone that watched my old videos. I'm thankful for people who believed in me saying that they don't have this they're fine and I hope that I thank you for your mate I thank you for my girlfriend and my family first of all my doctor thank you my doctor I'm sorry I am sorry for wasting your time I really am but yeah I'm just I'm just thankful as yours it can be over I still have help because I obviously it's to it's not gonna go like that. And I just I, I want I want I want everyone who's dealing with this same thing I have to reach out and talk to someone. Because if they don't like I did. Like I did for a while, then, then I don't look like this. I go to the doctors 24 7. I went to. Well, even before all this happened, I went to, to the Olympic team because I had muscle pain and all that stuff. I had. Because that's part of the anxiety symptoms that you had muscle pain. And, uh, even before I knew I had muscle pain, I thought it was wrong with my heart and my lungs. And I went to check, yeah, I went, I went to go check him like fucking seven times. I went down the door seven times. Seven times, what the doctor told me. And she said, oh, you're fine. I went to the hospital down there. My GP's different, different building, but the GP's I can talk to if someone don't know if I'm American, but I went to the hospital for four, seven times. I went to the hospital with an extra, an extra four times just to get my throat checked. To see if I don't actually have it, and they said they don't, they don't, they can't really check it. I went to my GP twice, and they said I don't have it. So I, I, I don't, but there's some part of me that feels like I do have it. There's some part of me that feels like I'm gonna die soon, and then we all die soon. I'm not gonna home, we all die soon, but. I felt like I did. And I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I had to leave my girlfriend behind because I didn't want to see like this. I got, I, got, I didn't speak to her for three. I, I didn't speak to her for three weeks. Three weeks, man. I had left my girlfriend.
I just don't know why it's difficult. <sighs> Sorry, my phone's a different way around. I'm just charging my phone. I understand why it's difficult. And I want people, whoever, whoever is suffering with health anxiety, social anxiety, any anxiety whatsoever, please, sorry, by the camera, please reach out to somebody, reach out to anybody that can help you. Because I know what it feels like. I had to, I felt like I had to leave my girlfriend behind. I had to, to leave everybody behind because I felt like if it got involved or whatsoever and I actually died then I I wonder I felt I felt the emotions or whatever they was felt if I actually died. I had to be lying. I was getting up in the morning then to myself, I'm not dead yet, I'm not dead yet, I'm not dead yet. To, I have to say that to myself every day when I woke up, I'm not dead yet. And it helped me in a way. Because in reality, when people aren't there, and I feel like it would help people who, who start with very they go and think that they're going to never be great when they wake up. And when I wake up and go, I'm not dead yet. Let's do something, you know? I'm not dead yet. Let's go and do something. You know? So, thank you. End of the video. Uh, I will end this video. Well, thank you, anyone that's been there for me. I thank you, I thank you for anybody that's... That's stayed with me on YouTube. I thank you for that. You're the